Hello, everybody. This is Matthew Brown. Welcome to the Man Creed Podcast. And today, I want to talk about a few more details about the Jim Matthews murder. I did a long version of this, but I kind of want to keep it quick for people who just kind of want to get more information. There are several things that people are asking a lot of questions about, and I feel like the bigger media stations aren't really answering it. So I try to look into it as much as possible. And from a self-defense perspective, I think it's important that people know. So number one, what was the relationship between the man, the sale, and the family? It says that he was welcome in the home. Well, it looks like he was over four times a week, typically while the man of the household, I won't say husband because they won't marry, but while the father of the household, Jim Matthews, was asleep. That's the one who got murdered. Number two, he's usually around in the daytime. Jim Matthews sleeps during the day because he's an overnight news anchor. Number three. The man this time was over at three o'clock in the morning and Jim Matthews came home at six o'clock in the morning. Number four, the reason that the man knows the family is because both him and the girlfriend. And I think this is the thing that isn't wanting to be reported because it kind of causes specific speculation towards a certain person. But the man in the assailant and the girlfriend of Jim Matthews were both people who were in narcotics anonymous in the I think like a church group or something. So that is the kind of long and short of a lot of the things people are questioning and don't quite understand, right? The guy OD'd on narcotics in the basement that is reported and they woke him back up with Narcan. And number five, they a lot of people are saying, I heard stabbing, I heard blunt force trauma. Uh, what was the weapon? It seems like he may have stabbed them and also uh, beat them uh, mostly <laughs> the son, mostly to death and, and Jim all the way to death with a hammer. Right. So those are the things that kind of aren't being completely talked about. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you. And uh, if you got any information out of this that you didn't know, like and subscribe.